Maggie, look. What's that? Lemur. Lemur. Zebu. Zebu. What are you doing, honey? I'm trying to teach Maggie that nature doesn't end with the barnyard. I want her to have all the advantages that I didn't have. Hmm, we, sir, we did the best we could. What's a zebu? It's like an ox, only it has a hump and a doolap. Hump and doolap. Hump and doolap. Hmm. March, what's my blood type? A positive. Oh, nuts. Extremely rare blood, and I don't have it. You know his blood type? How romantic. Hmm, my mother knows everything about her family. Oh, yeah? What's my shoe size? 4B. How many teeth do I have? 16 permanent, 8 baby. Earmuff. XL. Ring? I don't want you wearing rings. It looks cheap, but three. Allergies. Butterscotch and imitation butterscotch. And? Glow-in-the-dark monster makeup. Ooh, impressive. How many hairs on my head without looking? Oh, homie, you have lots of hair. Why did you want to know your blood type? Oh, old man Burns is going to kick off if he doesn't get some double O negative blood, but nobody at the plant has it. Bart does? Woo! Yes! All right! Woo! Congratulations, boy! You've got a date with a needle. Hey, wait a minute. I don't have to give blood. I have rights, you know. Yeah, you have the right to remain silent. Bart, you have to help someone in need. It's the only decent thing to do. No! Bart, it's not like I'm asking you to give blood for free. That would be crazy. You're a little young to understand this, but when you save a rich man's life, he showers you with riches! Don't you know the story of Hercules and the lion? Is it a Bible story? Yeah, probably. Anyway, once upon a time, there was a big, mean lion who got a thorn in his paw, and all the village people tried to pull it out, but nobody was strong enough. So they got Hercules, and Hercules used his mighty strength, and... Bingo! Anyway, the moral is, the lion was so happy, he gave Hercules this big thing of riches. How did a lion get rich? It was the olden days. Uh. Hey, let's go! Emergency! Life or death here! Is this sag, man? Whoa, Otto, man, you work here? Oh, yeah. During the day, all my friends are in school, so I got a job as a certified bloodletting tech dude. Now, let's get the show on the road. Okay, let me, let me wash up. Homer, brave young bar. I don't know which one to hug first. Uh, the boy. Yeah. Ooh. We're ready with the transfusion. Smithers, I'm not going to make it. I want to dictate my epitaph. Go ahead. Charles Montgomery Burns. Mm -hmm. American. Mm -hmm. And patriot. American patriot. Master of the atom. Scourge of the despot. Oh, tyrant, hear his mighty name. And quick, Smithers, I am back. Oh, top of the morning to ye. Why, look who's here. It's good old you. Hi, Mr. Burns. <laughs> oh, hey there, Mr. Brown Shoes. <laughs> How about that local sports team? Hmm? Mr. Burns, he's okay. Jackpot! <laughs> Hi, caramba! <laughs> well, that's game. Hasta mañana, Osvaldo. <laughs> Smithies, I'm back in the pink, full of pith and vinegar. Just remarkable, sir. You know, it's funny, Smithies. I tried every tincture and poultice and tonic and patent medicine there is. And all I really needed was the blood of a young boy. By the way, what was the lad's name? Uh, Bart Simpson, sir. Who? He's the son of Homer Simpson, one of your steps in Sector 7G. Well, the Simpsons will be getting a very nice surprise in the mail. Very nice indeed. <laughs>